Andre Nikolai based in Kaiwaka. Um, basically building sheds nowadays, used to build houses. Went over to building sheds about six, seven years ago. Probably closer to seven now. And just been doing that ever since. Numbers wise, it must be 20 plus by now. Uh, haven't really been counting to be honest. They seem to be coming up constantly all the time. Getting a bit bigger all the time. Comparing with any other clear span shed, there's obviously the rafter system. I'm nobody else, I haven't seen anything that's even close to it. Everything else is always C-sections with a lot of joist hangers on them. Um, I guess the time value in putting a alpine rafter together would be maybe 10 minutes if you're lucky. There's six bolts, you've got to adjust the heights and that's about it. Go and put some C-sections together, they'll probably take you four or five hours. Thousands of screws. All the joist hangers have got to be screwed on as well. It's just it's extremely time consuming. And what I don't, I particularly don't like about it is the fact that every time you put a screw through that, oh, it's three or four more metal or whatever it is, you've basically lost your galvanizing because it heats it up. And so every single one of those holes is non-galvanized. So at some stage, and I've seen it before, that's going to be the first place the rust is going to start going to be the first place that the rattle start because the hole's going to get a little bit bigger. The advantage of having the Alpine one is that it's, there's none of that. There's just 10mm steel rafters that are never going to rust. And even if you had a shed that was 50 years old and you got a little bit of rust on your raft, you just grind it off and paint it. You can't grind a C-section because as soon as it's rusted, it's done. Oh, it's just simple as can be. Um, we never have an issue, once everything turns up, it's all there. Uh, that's, that's the main thing, there's nothing worse than turning up and the first piece of timber you need is not there. Or it's bent like a boomerang and you can't use it, you've got to go down the, down, down the store and get something else. Your, your alpine shed turns up, it's all wrapped up. The timber's always, well it comes straight from your factory, so someone else has already looked at it who gives a damn about it. And it's dry, it's dry and it's straight, it's not wet, wet and... You know, the wet timber, when you build the shed and anything starts getting a bit sloppy and it's got to be tightened up again. Um, so yeah, the kit set itself is, it's always, everything's always, I don't think I've ever had anything where it's not been there. There's always a few extra bits of timber and you're not cut back to the bare minimum, so you've got to spare every single piece. And just dealing with you guys has always been quite pleasurable. I mean, I get on with all the people down there, have a bit of fun with them now and then. Um, so it just makes, the work environment so much better as far as I'm, I'm concerned. It's just easy to deal with you guys and you're just really on the ball. So anyone who wants to be confident in what they're building and when they walk away from the job confidently go, well, that's it, that, that's done for 50 years, that one. Um, that's what you really should be building.